Hi, Leslie. Hello. So lovely to meet you. So, Ordinary Love, can you give us a brief introduction to the film and tell us why you're attracted to, to this role in this film? Well, um, it's a film about a couple, Joan and Tom, who have been together for a very long time. They're a very good couple. They're glass half full kind of couple. They still like each other. They still make each other laugh. They're still attracted to each other. And they get stricken by, she gets stricken by breast cancer. And it's really a film that examines what this very universal illness does to families, does to couples, and what it does to even the best of relationships. Um, and the film really goes on to observe this couple managing this very life or death situation uh, and what it does. And it's a delicate film, it's not big broad brush strokes, it's tiny brush strokes about what this does to them. And it seems like it does really rest on the relationship between your character and Liam Neeson. So what was it like working with him and how did you manage to bring out this sort of like very nuanced thing, you know, going from this like feeling of banter to then going through this, you know, immense feeling of grief? Well, I think as people and as actors, Liam and I are on the same page and that's what's clever about Lisa and Glenn casting us. They, they sort of knew that we'd be good together and we were and we, it was easy to act with him I mean he's he's kind and generous he doesn't bring an ego to the set and neither do I and um, so somehow we just kind of felt right together and um, Lisa and Glenn were very good at uh, allowing us the space to do what we needed to do and they helped but they also let us go at the right times. And, um, you know, a lot of it comes down to, you can't be too prescriptive always. You can't always work it all out in your bedroom at home. You, you have to do your prep, know the area that you're in, but then on the day, something has to happen. And that really only happened because for me, Liam was very easy to work with and I think he felt the same way towards me and we had this great kind of support and backup and brilliant... Um, I mean, Lisa and Glenn were, all, Glenn were always saying just brilliant things that would just go, oh, yeah, that's good, you know, I can use that. And what do you hope people are going to take away when they leave the cinema? And do you think that, like trying to represent grief in a way that is realistic. It's something that is quite challenging on screen, but important also. I think it's important that, that we represent the, these people realistically, that it's not about me trying to look glamorous through the chemo uh, or, or through the whole procedure. You know, it's a very brutal, realistic look. And when we were at Toronto Film Festival, that was one of the things that people watching the film said to me, that they they really appreciated the honesty of it. It demystifies it. And I think it's also very good that as a couple, Joan and Tom are, they're, they're not a doom and gloom couple. They're, they're optimistic. They, they try to make each day have something, you know. They're, they're quite a private couple. They're very, their lives have become, because of circumstances, quite insular. But they're a very positive, life-grabbing couple. So I think if you, if you put that on top of what they're trying to deal with, it's, it's a good cocktail. And what about having you know, roles for, uh, let's say, uh, actors and actresses later in their career? Because it does feel like in the past it's like getting good, meaty roles. You know, we're not portraying life beyond you know, you know, younger people. So do you think that's something that's really encouraging? Do you think the cinema landscape's opening up a bit now? I think it's vital. I mean, uh, you've hit the nail on the head. You know, there are people of over 40, over 50, over 60 who are still wanting intimacy and love and romance in their lives and couples that are still achieving all of those things and people want to go to the cinema not just the cancer element but the other thing about this film it is a middle-aged love story and people want to see that they want to see themselves represented at the cinema and not all love stories to be about you know 20 30 somethings 
But we certainly get on, we like each other, and we did instantly, so that's a huge bonus. Eek. I'm not sure. I think I just uh, do my homework, and then on the day, I thrust yes, myself yes, into it um, and um, work off my instincts and, um, and but you you sometimes the homework is is not literal or anything that you c that's very tangible to talk about it can be just something that i i i marinate over many months and uh, and then it kind of all comes together on the day